fight. Ah! Oh! Ah! Ah! Clash of Champs. Download free. Involved in. We can say, you know what, it's a decent name for him. I still want to see Golovkin move up to super middleweight. I think there's bigger tests for him out there. But this is a fight that um, I expect Golovkin, Golovkin to be under a bit of pressure, take a few shots, and there'll be a few questions asked in this fight that we've not seen before. So I'm looking forward to it. With your eye, what do you think about Triple G? A lot of people think he's the real deal. Some people think there's still questions. How does Carl Price see Triple G as an overall fighter? Well, I think as a, as a boxing purist, I think he's a, he's a great fighter. He's proven that in the amateurs. He's shown that... You know, the people he's beaten as an amateur that have gone on to do things in the professional game, he's, he's proven that, you know, he's, a, he's of a quality, a certain quality, which is a high quality, but not all top amateurs make top pros. So now for him to, to get that respect from not just fighters like me, but other fighters like me and people, are critics within the boxing fraternity, and, and there's, there's lots of critics out there, that's what, that's what we're here to do, we're here to criticise whether it be constructive or negative. Um, and it's difficult to put Triple G and put him up there with the best of the best in the elite and say that he's a Hall of Famer purely because he's not got any names that stand out on his record that he's beaten. There's nobody there. And this is the first fight for him to, to start notching up that list of, um, of great fighters. But he needs to go on from this and do more and show us what we all think. I think he's a great fighter. I think he can be really, really... I mean, he's obviously undisputed middleweight champion, so he's doing something right, but he's still not boxed anybody. He needs to step up. Maybe a James to Gale. I wanted to see him fight Andre Ward. I don't know yeah. what Andre Ward's doing, but you know that would really answer questions for us and really tell us how good he is. But he's obviously he's obviously very good. A lot of I don't think Jay, I don't want to say Jacobs hasn't got enough because Gennady Golovkin is guilty of getting hit. You know he he takes a lot of shots. He's getting old now. Let's not forget. Is he 30, 34 years old yet? 35. 35. So you know I know what it was like to be 35, and I was at the end of my career. And, I retired just before I was 37 because I was feeling the recovery and feeling the pace. It was hard. So Golovkin may be, his best years may be behind him. You know, and um, Kel Brook hit him with a lot of shots. You know, he, he didn't, he gets hit, he gets caught. There's only so many shots you can take off these top fighters. So um, I don't know, his best years are behind him in my opinion. But there's still a lot more for him to come and do, how you doing, for him to do. But, um, I don't know if he's going to have the time to fight all the top, top fights, but the Jacobs fight is a great test for him, one I expect him to come through, but then be surprised if he, um, if he struggles.